Hello there, welcome to the video. Previously we have already seen how to display the different channels which already exist inside an image. But this time in the video I'm going to show you how to create your own new channels inside Nuke. So let's get into Nuke and get started. Okay, so we are inside Nuke right now. And to get started with creating different channels, let's just uh, go to our image node here at the top. And here I'm going to start creating you uh, using this constant node. So first, let's know a little bit about this constant. Because I'm going into this um, image node, uh, most of the things in here actually belong to creating complete images. So I just created this constant node, as you can see here, and this is its properties which is opened up here on the side. Now, all the properties which are shown here are quite basic. As you can see here at the top, we have channels shown here, and we have RGB, and it's tick marked here. Then we have color at the bottom, the format, which actually mentions how big the entire constant is, and then the frame range, the frame range through which this will be actually visible. So, let's uh, put it into a viewer and see what it looks like. So I'm just connecting it into, into the viewer and I'm going to press the title key to bring out my viewer. As you can see the constant is actually displayed but because it is black in color I can't actually see anything. So let me just open up the color palette and give it something different. Okay so I'm here with my color palette. Now let me just give it something like an orange. So it has some amount of red and green inside it. And let's, uh, because I have the color palette open here, let's just discuss a little bit about this before I go in. Here you can see I have the wheel. A uh, few main things to note about it. Uh, when you go around in the circle, as you can directly see, you change the hue. When you go inside and out, you change the saturation. If you want to change the brightness of it, all you need to do is right click and move left and right. You change the brightness of it. So. Apart from that, you can also zoom in by using the middle mouse scroll. You can zoom into your wheel. And if you want to change only the hue but not the brightness, you can use control, click and drag. You can just change the degree of your hue. If you want to change only the saturation, you can press shift and move it inside or out. So that's the easiest way of working with it. So I really like uh, having a color wheel over here. Apart from that, you have different ways of working with the sliders or even you have a palette inside this. Now, uh, most of you might have seen that your palette is usually longer, whereas mine is uh, in a landscape format. So, the way I usually just do that is just take your palette, squeeze it in, and pull it out. The entire thing gets rearranged, or you can just squeeze it in, pull it out, it gets rearranged the other way. So, I just l like having it this way. I don't know. So, this is uh, how I'm just setting in some colors. I'm just going to pick something which is orange, which is between red and yeah, uh, red and green. Okay, so I've chosen a color, and there are a couple of things that I want you to note here. First thing, the number of channels that we are looking at right now is exactly R, G, and B. So you can see red, green, and blue are turned on. So if I come to my viewer here, I'll just expand this. I'm looking at R, G and B colors all at the same time. If I go just to the red, you can see it's bright. If I go to the green instead, it's a bit darker. Instead now if I go to the blue, you can see it's even more darker. So from bright, a little dark to darkest. My colors have varied. So if I go to the alpha channel instead, Basically, I have absolutely no alpha throughout the image. You can actually observe that if you observe the white text here at the bottom, it shows zero, zero. That's the alpha channel value. So basically, there is no alpha channel right now. I'll come back to the RGB. The main thing is, any time you have created this node, the first option, the channels which you have here at the top, these are the ones which are telling you which channels are going to be created and which will not be created. So. I'll just keep the viewer here at the side for a second and just work with the properties. I've already told you about these uh, color-coded boxes which you can see here at the bottom of any of your tiles. So let's see what happens to these tiles if I do anything with these channels here at the top. So we have red, green and blue channels displayed right now. If I take away blue, you can see the blue channels gone over there. But you can see the color did not change a lot, right? 
the color did not change but now I will change the, take out the green you can immediately see the all the green is gone and immediately the yellow color is gone and it looks like it's red now also here we just have the red tile and no green or blue tile I take away the red basically there is no information coming out from this whatsoever if I come into my viewer this time and I move around you can see there is no color information shown here at the bottom I can go turn on RG if I come down you can see red and green has some values uh, sorry greens not showing any values right now apparently now, apart from that if I turn on my blue and if I choose an alpha channel I can choose any channel to be my alpha I don't have to always have the alpha channel in here I can use the depth forward backward any of the deep masks roto paint or any extra channel I have created as my alpha channel or if I want I can create a new channel right here I'll show you that in a second so if I want I can create it there so here you can see that there are just one two three channels right now so that is because RGB is the chosen one so I'm going to take this drop down I can choose none and basically all my channels are cancelled out but if I choose none I get this option of selecting any particular channel I want let's see all the channels once so if I choose red over here you can immediately see my red channel is turned on same way green and blue do the same but alpha gives me a white box I'll just zoom in a bit more you can see alpha gives me a white box then depth gives me a dark purple and then a forward view gives me a magenta forward view gives me a cyan yellow and a white again and then pretty much all the other masks or uh, sorry all the other channels which you have will give you a dark green in the end so any of the channels which we just saw RGBA depth and the motion channels will give you color uh, coatings right on the tile which is going to help you out anything else will give you a green box at the edge something like this so looking at the tile you should be immediately able to tell which are the channels being processed in that image currently uh, so if I come back here I can choose RGB and you can immediately see RGB is taken in if I want I can choose RGBA which immediately puts in alpha channel here at the edge and you can get RGBA tiles here but let's say I do not want it to be like this I don't want the pre-made channels I want to actually create my own so I can come back down here at the bottom I can click new in the previous video I had shown you that you can create a channel set and then add channels inside it so that is what we have here this new layer is nothing but a channel set channel set are nothing but layers so I can actually create a new layer I can call it uh, my channels so I've created this uh, channel set called my channels and I want to populate this with some channels let's say I did not want RGBA uh, if I just wanted RGB, uh, RGBA I could click this and my four channels will get populated by aut automatically if not if I wanted to use something which already exists I can just go to the drop down menu and choose whichever channel I want but uh, let me just go ahead and create my new channel so instead of red I want it to be channel 1 and 2 3 and 4 so I have a special channel set which I created called my channels and this has channel 1 2 3 and 4 inside it now if I click OK OK sorry it has to start with an alphabet so OK so I created uh, four different channels and as you can see here I'm looking at the channels it's my channel channel set inside which I have A1, B2, C3 and D4 channels but these are not the default RGBA channels these are not called red green and blue but the first channel is always given the red code the green and blue respectively for the second and third so that's the reason they have the color here but if I look at the constant node you can see all of them are put under the single tile which is a green one at the end which means this is not a default channel that we are working with right now so now what exactly did we do we got into nuke we created a constant node we know how to choose the colors for it but instead of choosing just colors we actually came ahead and uh, we created our own channel set and we added in 
A1, B2, C3 channels inside it and D4 channels inside it and that is what we are giving as an output but as you can see here I can't actually see what's happening that is because I'm looking at RGBA channels and that's the same reason I can't see anything here so if I take the go to the drop down you can see that my channels is listed under this I can click on it and immediately my color is back because I had to look at the RGB or these other RGB colors which I'm looking at here that section to be able to look at the color now I know previously I left out this particular drop down menu the first drop down menu mentions which exact channel set we are working with the last option displays which is the exact channel you want to look at in that channel set but the send the middle channel tells you which is your actual alpha channel so for example I want to go to the alpha channel but I don't know which is my actual alpha channel so here I know that my D4 is the alpha channel let's say D4 is not my alpha channel I wanted my let's say RGBA alpha to be the alpha channel I can set it to that and that is my alpha channel which is displayed here so this is basically going to work only with alpha channel so by default try to leave it at RGBA alpha or in this case if you have changed the alpha channel change it to whatever channel represents your alpha channel so that is there now apart from that uh, we have just created a constant node with a couple of channels inside it so this is the main thing I wanted to show but this created a complete canvas or a complete image which has a single channel inside it this is not going to help you out a lot right so instead what you want to do is you want to create a shape or you want to create something inside it which has that particular channel so in such a case you can't actually use the image uh, section you'll have to come to the draw section where you can actually create something else so instead of creating anything extra I'll just go to the text which is here at the bottom so I just clicked on the text as you can see it has a couple of options uh, usually anything which has this upper node is the background so I'll connect the background to the constant which is coming in and I'll connect the text to the second input of my viewer so now I have my text which is coming in I'll come back here to my RGBA and I'll look at the second input uh, right now the text is uh, showing the frame number as you can see there is this frame one option shown here so let's look at a couple of things here right now in the beginning uh, you can see that there is output which is given out and the output tells it's RGBA next it tells me that uh, it has to clip to the format so that is basically the format of my entire frame so I don't care about all of that so let me just edit a few things I'm going to increase the font size let me just give it 200 okay so I just have some text over here and it's sitting on top of this constant node which is giving in some colors but as you can see I can't actually see the background if I actually go into the my channels I can see the sorry let me go to RGBA I can see the color but if I come back to RGBA I can see only the text this is because both of them are in completely different channels now instead if I wanted my text to actually be in this my channels not in the default RGBA which I'm working with let's say you're working in a movie where you wanted some overlay text which you wanted displayed only for your purposes but you did not wanted it rendered out all that extra um, heads up display that you have added you can put it in a different channel which you can cancel out before rendering so it's easier to work with so right now what I would do is instead of outputting the text into RGBA I'm going to take it out and I'm going to output it into my channels and as soon as I do that you can see that text is displayed in the frame one so what I actually did is in the beginning I had a constant node and this node is giving an output in my channel set with a1 b2 c3 and d4 channels where I, and when I created this text node I wanted it to display it on top of the same channel set so I had to just make sure my output is set in the cha same channel set to be displayed here so now if I go back to my RGBA I can no longer see the text which is much easier to work with so now uh, let's uh, look at a, one last thing which I had missed out in the viewer last time so I have these two inputs input 1 and input 2 
instead of actually pressing one and two keys if I want to move between them I can use the drop down here all the inputs that are connected to my current viewer can be shown here so I have a constant one and I have the text so if I go back to my channels if I go to constant you can see there is no text there because it's the uh, pipe which is coming in directly from the constant it's no it's not going through the text pipe whereas if I go to the text pipe it's coming in through the text and therefore I can actually see what's happening so I can change the options here so what is the benefit of having it set up like this well in the center I can go choose something like wipe which gives me an additional control here on the edge this lets me move between two different inputs so I'm moving between uh, moving between the input 1 and input 2 over here so you can see text 1 and constant which is there and I'm moving between them and anywhere I move I can actually see the different outputs which are given to me by both of the inputs which are coming in over here so this is one thing which is very handy I'll be talking about this one later on so let me just cancel that out so what we just did is I created a constant node and I added in some separate channels uh, wherever I wanted I created a text and I showed you how to output whatever you create not just text but pretty much any node you create within Nuke will give you these output options let's say I create a rotor paint node you can see the output still has channels inside it even if I create a merge node you can see that it still has some output and it still has channels that can be set in here so pretty much anything which works with an image and gives an image output will give you an output with a channel set and channels inside it so that is what I wanted to show you I wanted to show how you can create channels in the next video I'll show you how to create channels in a particular manner like um, basically the uh, I'll show you how to create rotos in the next video so I hope you understood how exactly channels work a little bit better going through this video and I'll see you in the next one thank you